so this video can get a little bit confusing, but I hope you can stay with me. So first of all, I want to add two new text objects. I'm going to add BB text. One is going to be called current ammo, and I'm just going to make it zero. I'm also going to make it bigger. And the second, reserve ammo. So now we have our two text objects. Also what I'm going to do is I'm going to start making external events so it's easier for us to see which parts go with the player and it's easier for us to get the player over to different scenes. So I'm going to go into external events and make a new one. I'm going to rename this one to player. I'm going to open it and I'm going to choose the scene to be prototyping. Now I'm going to move all of the player events into this external event. And so now I can delete all of those from here and click on add on the right here, go into link and then choose player. And so now all of the events from this event are going to be in here. So now I'm going to add some groups. Go to the right and click add, go to group and I'm going to call this shooting. All of the events in here are going to be to do with the player shooting something like this. I'm going to make a new group and call this collision and put everything to do with collision inside this group. Make a new group, call it rotation and put everything to do with rotation in here. I'm also going to move this into the shooting. And then finally, make another group, call it camera, and then put everything to do with the camera inside. So this just cleans up our events. So we can click these down arrows, and here we go, four groups. So now to get onto the main aspects of this video, the reloading. So I'm going to go into the player, go into edit object variables. I'm going to make a new variable, and we're going to make quite a few of these. The first one is going to be called max mag ammo. And this is going to be the maximum number that is going to be shown on the left here. So for example, for a pistol, I'm going to do 12. And if you want to be able to change weapons, then you want to have, for example, pistol max ammo. But for this video, I'm not going to do that. So then I'm going to make another, and this is going to be called current mag ammo. And this is going to be the actual number displayed here that's going to go down when we shoot. And for now, I'm just going to make this the same as this one. Now we have max reserve ammo. And this isn't going to be used much. It's only going to be used when we want to refill this second number back to the top. So I'm going to set this to be 48. The next variable is going to be the current reserve ammo. And this number is going to be displayed here and this is going to go down when we reload. So I'm going to make this 48 as well. And our next variable is going to be can fire. And this is going to check if we can fire our gun. And so this is going to be a yes or no. So I'm going to set this to 1 so that we can fire. And so when we're going to reload, we're going to set this to 0. So make a new variable. This is going to be called reload time. And so this is going to be how long it takes to reload. And so obviously you can do pistol reload time, rifle reload time, if you want them to have different times. For example, I'm just going to set this to 0 0.5. So now make yet another variable, call this is reloading. And we're going to use this to check if we are reloading a gun. And so I'm just going to set this as default to 0. And our final variable is is firing. And so can fire and is fire is different. Because can fire is seeing if we can fire our gun. But is firing is checking to see if we are currently firing our gun. Set this to zero. And so now we have all of our variables set up. Now we can go into our player events and I'm going to make a new group for this. And we're going to call this reloading. Make a new event and make it a sub event. In this first event, make it at the beginning of the scene. And in this event, we're going to go straight to pausing a timer. Pause a scene timer. This is going to be reload. And this timer is going to use the reload time variable that we used, uh, that we made earlier. And so now we're going to make a new event and we're just going to use this kind of the same kind of thing in this event from this one. So just to make it simpler, I'm going to add the stuff that I would add here onto this one, just so it's one event and not two. So I'm going to make a new condition. We're going to do common conditions for all objects, variables, value of an object variable. We're going to player and the variable is going to be current mag ammo. If the current mag ammo is greater than zero and the space key is pressed. So this is seeing if the mag ammo is greater than zero because we don't want to be able to shoot and go into negative numbers on the current mag ammo. And so we're only going to make it so you can shoot if the amount in here is greater than zero. And we're also going to see if can fire is one, then fire. And we're going to set the is firing variable set to one because here we are currently firing. Okay, so now down to here, if we add a condition, go to keyboard, key pressed, and then space, but we're going to invert it. So if the space key is not pressed, then we're going to just copy this, drag it in here, and set it to zero because we are currently not firing. So now we're going to make a new event and this is going to be the event that's going to make the ammo show up on the text objects. So I'm going to drag this into here and add an action. I want to go down to BB text or a BB code even. BB code text, current ammo, set to. We want to do player 
dot variable string current mag ammo and so now you can see that it's showing 12 because that's what we put in our current mag ammo variable and just quickly i'm going to set both of these on a new layer so i'm going to make a new layer and i'm just going to call this gui and i'm going to put these text objects on that gui layer just so it moves with the camera and so now you can see that it moves with the camera and so now we're going to do the same thing but just with the other text objects and instead of doing current mag ammo we're doing current reserve ammo and make sure you get the capital letters correct here we go 12 and 48 so now we're going to make a new event and drag this in and in the condition going out to fire bullets fire bullet and has just fired and go into player so if the player has just fired a bullet then we're going to go into the variable of player current mag ammo and we're going to subtract one so now if we play it you'll see if i shoot it minuses one every time we shoot and it stops at zero and we can't shoot once it gets to zero because of this so we can only shoot if it's greater than zero and so now we want to reload it when we press the r button so make a new event and the condition is going to be keyboard key pressed r and make another condition and we want to make sure that we aren't firing once we do this and so we want to get the is firing variable and if the is firing variable is equal to zero then we can reload because we don't want to be able to reload mid shooting and i'm also going to make a trigger once here trigger once while true and so now this is where we go back to where we made our timer our pause timer we're going to add an action and we want to unpause that timer and we also want to reset that timer and so now in this new event we're actually gonna do the reloading after the timer has gone greater than the reload time variable so going to timers and time value of a scene timer the time in seconds is going to be player dot variable reload time once again making sure the capital letters are correct timers name is going to be reload and so all of these timers are going to be linked with each other because they've got the same name and so what this does is at the start of the scene it pauses it so it starts at zero seconds then once the r key is pressed it unpauses it and resets it which will make it go from zero to 0 0.5 which is what we set this reload time variable to and once it's greater than that 0 0.5 seconds it's going to do this and this is going to be where we do the actual reloading so we're going to go into our player variable again and this is going to be current reserve ammo and we're going to subtract this and so here we want to find out the difference between our current mag ammo and our max mag ammo so we can subtract that from the current reserve ammo so to do this we do player dot variable max mag ammo minus player dot variable current mag ammo so since our max mag ammo is 12 if our current mag ammo is let's say 6 it will do 12 minus 6 which is 6 and we'll do the current reserve ammo minus that 6 so if it's 48 that would be 42 and so now we want to make another action once again a player variable and it's going to be current mag ammo i'm going to set this equal to player dot variable max mag ammo and so this is going to bring up the current mag ammo back to 12 after we've done this so it's like taking that six that we got from the reserve ammo and putting it back into the current mag ammo and so now once again i want to reset the timer and also pause the timer and so now we want to change the variable of is reloading we want to set it to zero because now we aren't reloading so up here we want to set it to one because we are reloading and so now we just want to make two more events nice and simple at a condition this is going to be a player variable again is reloading so is reloading is equal to one then we want to set can fire equal to zero we don't want to be able to fire when we're reloading and then we can do this on the second event when is reloading is zero we want to set can fire to one so that we are able to fire put these inside the group and there you go if i press r I can only reload once I've stopped shooting and I can only shoot once I'm not reloading there you go so this might be a bit confusing but once you understand it it's super cool so I hope this helped you and have fun